scripture tells us that Jesus gave up the ghost and he died. But we know that he got up, saints. Yeah. Amen. Jesus had then the power over death just as he has it now. He proved it with J. Iris' daughter when he raised her and with Lazarus when he raised him from a four-day death grave experience. But Jesus was on a greater mission. It was wonderful that he did these things. For those people, for they were happy, glad to know Jesus was their friend. But Jesus knew he had a greater purpose to fulfill for the Father, which the devils nor the wicked people of those days knew. For Paul tells us in the book of Acts that Jesus of Nazareth was a man approved of God. And God worked miracles through him. This same Jesus now hangs on the cross, appearing to men to be defeated, being mocked, being ridiculed. Others are feeling sorrowful and filled with anguish. And it's even recorded in Isaiah 54 that even the father forsook him for a brief moment and hid his face from him. But with great mercies and compassion, he would gather him to himself again, this same Jesus. How many of you have ever been in a physical fight, a fist fight? It starts off with a misunderstanding. <laughs> okay, raise your hand. Hallelujah. Starts off with a misunderstanding, mean words, arguments, lies, deception. Persistent harassment, bullying, threatenings, and you know that you know you got to settle this thing with your fist. Maybe you're coming from school, from work, a game, whatever it is. You may be dressed in all your good clothes, have on your fine jewelry, and you don't want to get those things messed up. Now, when I was a child, when I was younger, we used to get in fights, and it would start with arguments, pushing and shoving. But then you came to the point where you got tired of being pushed and shoved. And you would tell your friend, okay, I'm going to fight, but I will need you to hold my coat, <laughs> my books, my earrings, my jewelry, or whatever. Because you don't want to get it messed up, and you don't want it to get lost in the fight. We considered the importance and the value of those things before the fight began. Now, there are some people then and some young people today who don't consider the value of what they have on them. They go into a fight with everything they still have on. Their unsaved souls, their destinies, their purpose in life, their future, their hope, and the hope of the nation. And this is what Adam did when he sinned in the garden. Everything he had, he turned it over to the devil. He didn't consider what he had on him, which was the glory of God. But Jesus on the cross knew he was about to go into the depths of hell and fight Satan for you and for me. He knew Satan's torments, attacks, and harassment and ridicule of God's people wasn't going to stop. He knew in the Garden of Gethsemane that that fight would have to be fought. But the victory was going to be his and ours. And this is why he said, Father, not my will, but thine will be done. He knew he had to do it God's way. Jesus knew the agony, the pain, and the torment of the cross. He went into this fight knowing that he would suffer woundings, bruisings, piercings, whippings, and the crucifixion. But he knew his purpose was to put an end to the devil, to destroy his works, his power, and his authority over our lives. The Bible tells us in Genesis that Jesus you and I are the seed that crushes the devil's head. We can say hallelujah for that. 
Jesus hung on the cross viewing all things, past, present, and future. And when he was ready, he declared to the Father, into thy hands I commit, I entrust, I commend my spirit, for I know the value of my spirit. For in my spirit is life, salvation, healing, deliverance, wealth, prosperity, soundness, love, joy, peace, strength, your will, Father, your word, your promises, destiny, and victory. And when this fight is over, I will rise again with all power in my hands. And all that the devil stole, I will return unto you. And I will return to all of those who have and will call upon your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus got us the victory. And he says, all that I have, I have committed and entrusted unto the Father's hands. It is now mine. And But I give unto them, unto you and unto me, power to tread over serpents, scorpions, all the obstacles and snares of the devil, and to all who call upon my name, power to become a son and a daughter, filled with the overcoming victory. Saints, we're going to go into fights. We're going to fight every day, the good fight of faith. But Jesus wants us to know he has given us the victory. And I heard uh, Jamel and Jeanette up here speaking, and they were talking about their children. We have to keep our children covered. When I did this picture, this is Shakira, and when I was making it, the Holy Spirit had prompted me to make it just like that. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And it's because we have a devil out here, an adversary, and he's roaming about to and fro, seeking whom he may devour. And we need to keep our children covered under the blood of Jesus. We need to teach them about Jesus Christ, that when they, if they fall into these traps and snares of the devil, they can call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and commit their spirits unto him. And we know that no weapon that is formed against us will prosper because Jesus came to give us life and to give it to us more abundantly. And he also declared in his word that even though we have to endure such hardships as this mother and family endured, and many people today are enduring because of all the evil that's taking place in this world today. Yeah. He's saying, we truly do have the victory in Christ Jesus. Sorrow not, but when you go into that fight, go knowing that you are already more than a conqueror, that you are overcomer, and that you're going to use God's word and his word only because that's the only word that the devil will tremble and back up from. But the Bible says when you commit yourself to God, resist the devil, he will flee from you. Father, I thank you for this word today. I thank you for your blessings upon it, Lord God, and just being a part of the family, the body of Christ, in Christ Jesus' name. Amen.